The idea is that in each of those centers, you bring multiple people with different perspectives together to try and build a better mousetrap. You take the theme of motion and, and you realize that that's not a, uh, an age-specific concept. You may have a, a high school age athlete that um, has a sports injury or a concussion that requires care. You might have um, somebody more closer to my age who's starting to realize the effects of arthritis and is starting to look at treatment options for hip, knee, or shoulder type of problems. Maybe you didn't think initially it was a neurologic condition, but right upstairs you've got a neurologist who's an expert in movement disorders. and. A patient with a, a movement disorder problem is complaining of hip pain, and right downstairs you have a, you know, an orthopedic surgeon who can address these things. So we think by bringing together these experts, we can really have a critical mass. VCU Health has uh, senior leadership that are passionate about making things better, and I think that that's infectious. I, I think it's that sense of motivation that we can do better for the patient, both in how expeditiously we treat them and how well we treat them uh, that, that has us excited about being here. We're trying to really hardwire those relationships, take them into the future. The leadership may change, but the vision stays the same. Now, this is a real pivot point for, for the health system turning into VCU Health. It's a physical representation of the change in the way we're thinking about how we deliver care. It's, it's the result of us thinking about what an academic medical center needs to look like uh, into the future. Um, we can't live in a large hospital and in, in an urban location exclusively. There's a role for that, but there's also a role for suburban locations where patients can get easy access to care and the expertise of the physician staff uh, of an academic center. 